I think rewriting is just a, a lifelong process. I feel the need to rewrite everything right now. that I realized that stories are who we are, but they do have to be rewritten from time to time, let go of and changed, or else we stagnate. What don't we know? What, what do you want to know? And that's always the guiding principle that sends me out into a story. So this is really rewriting the power of journalists. It's not taking power away from them, it's actually generating new power. Mic test, mic test. Rewriting is not about creating something new, but creating something more honest about yourself. Killing a story that's good but not great is a victory. It makes the world a better, more interesting place. When we're talking about stories of addiction, violence, what we don't show is just as important as what we choose to show. So after you create work that's so personal, it's, it's often hard to go back. Evidence, numbers, statistical power, they don't stick to our brain. Stories, even if they are not true, yes. So this is basically <laughs> our brain filtering for us because it would not be beneficial to try to comprehend all the information around us. We think we have it all uh, clear in mind and know what the world is like, but we are guessing and we have preconceived ideas about the world. Thank you for joining with us in rewriting the Roman narrative. And I'm here today to say that like, as journalists, we have the ability to target our curiosity and use it as a tool to fight against the bigotry of the societies that we work in. People who are mentally ill can become leaders of national movements and can convince other vulnerable people to follow them into a march that ultimately ruins their lives. And I grew up in a house in which it is possible to disagree and talk, but I don't live in a society in which it is possible to disagree and talk. Thank you for trusting us to be a companion on your journey. Thank you for being here.